geography tells two contradictory stories about China. One is that China is greater than its landmass. It projects power outwards. Uh, take Manchuria, 100 million people. But just to the north is the Russian Far East, which is loaded with timber, diamonds, gold, uranium, f um, forest, water resources. But there are only 7 million people in all of the Russian Far East and the population is rapidly declining. And this is a part of, uh, of Russia that had been part of China up until the mid-19th century. So you could see Chinese companies, um, the Chinese foreign policy oriented towards, having, towards projecting their shadow of influence over the decades into the Russian Far East. In the West, China, as I said, abuts former Soviet Central Asia. China is building roads, railways, pipelines, all the way to the, near the Caspian Sea, uh, you know, taking advantage to try to bring into China the oil of Kazakhstan, the natural gas of Turkmenistan. Uh, project, and it, it, China is flooding the region with cash and projecting its power beyond its western uh, uh, borders into the heart of Central Asia. And Chinese history would say this is not out of, st um, a a a out of any behavioral pattern because under the Tang Dynasty, China ran trade routes that extended as far as Khorasan in northeastern Iran. Um, and then there's the Southeast Asia, where China's been uh, pr uh, promoting a policy of divide and conquer, politically, economically, with the various weaker countries of Southeast Asia. So China is bigger than it looks on the map. China is also much smaller than it looks on the map, because the the dominant ethnic Hans are basically in the, in the center and in the east in the arable lowland cradle, agricultural cradle of China. Yet within China's legal borders, you have inner Mongolians in the northern plateaus, you have Turkic Muslim Uyghurs in the western plateaus, and you have Tibetans in the southwestern plateaus. These plateau areas are often wealthy in minerals, uh, in, in Tibet's case, very wealthy with the headwaters of many great rivers that flow into China, into India, into Bangladesh. Um, so, and often these minorities have had very difficult relations with the Han majority over the course of history, so that Chinese leaders feel claustrophobic to an extent. And their existential fear is that a more is that a more open Chinese liberal reform society would ignite ethnic separatist unrest throughout the borderlands within the border of China. Um, so that, you know, this is one of the reasons that, uh, you know, that motivates China's authoritarian nature.